All right, we're going to look at a situation where we need to find a weighted mean. This is a little bit different from uh, what we would normally think of as a mean of just a raw data set. So how do we know this is a weighted mean? Well, there's usually some sort of categories that have different weights. Um, a very common place we see this is with a grades for a class. So we've got a grading scheme with a couple exams, a homework, labs, and a final exam, and those have different weights shown in the table. <clears throat> and then we have the scores that uh, you, this, this fictional student, got on those various categories. And we're going to figure out how we find the weighted mean in our calculator. So um, a lot of times we see a weighted mean formula looks something like this. And it feels like maybe there's a lot going on there. So let's break that down a little bit. So um, the sigma, this, uh, this symbol here, just means the sum of. Okay, well, what is, what is it the sum of? Um, so we would add up a bunch of things that look like xi times wi. Okay, xi, those are just observations. So those are the different scores you get in each category, like the 85% in exam one. wi, that's the weight for that category. So we would want to multiply the 85% with the weight for that category, the 20%. And then we would add that up, so we go down the list. So then we go to exam two as our category. So we scored a 62. We would multiply that by its weight, 20%. So we would add all of those products up and then divide by the sum of the weights. So we would just add up these categories. Now for a class, it should add up to 100%, um, but there are other situations where maybe that's not the case. So just be mindful of that bottom part. Um, okay, so this formula, though, doing it by hand, um, is it's not too bad, but we do have to be careful um, to line up our categories and to make sure that we're using parentheses. So on the top, we're adding up a bunch of things. We make sure to throw big parentheses around those before dividing. Um, the other thing we can do is punch this info into our calculator into a, a couple of different lists and then use the calculator to find this a little bit quicker. So um, the individual scores that you got, the 85%, 62%, 96%, so on, you can put those into a list. I've already put those into, uh, in my case, list one. And then the weights that are listed in the table, you can put that into list two. And you might notice in list three here, I put the decimal version of those things, right? Because we're talking about uh, weights as percentages here, but we know that we can convert to decimals. So we're going to see if this makes a difference at all, whether I use the percentage or the decimal version. Um, you could kind of argue the same thing for the first scores, but usually we, we would leave those just as they are um, because we want to get a result back that is as a percentage. So now that we have all of those listed, so list one, our scores, the other piece too, be careful about the order of these. So exam one is first in our scores. It's also first in the table. And then exam two, okay, exam two. So go down the list, make sure those are lined up. We don't want to have um, in our lists in the calculator, we don't want to have the wrong scores aligned with the wrong weights. So make sure those are lined up before we calculate anything. Okay, let's go back to the main screen. So second and mode, that'll quit us back to the main screen. If you click on stat and then go over one, do one variable stats. So list, uh, we can say list one, I want my scores in list one. And now we do have a frequency list. Um, these are gonna be the different weights. So uh, let's try list two. So we hit second and then two. And we see above that's the little list two. So list two is our frequency list. Let's calculate. And the one thing we are interested in, there's going to be a lot of information here, um, much of which uh, shows up in other videos, but the one thing we are most interested in is this number at the top, the X bar, the average, but in this case, since we added a frequency list, it's a weighted average. So 79.4 is our, 79.4% would be our current average for the class. And uh, hopefully we get bumped up to that 80%. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's also look at uh, what would happen if, so let's go back to stat and then over to the one variable stats. So we said, okay, list two was listed as they were here as percentages. What happens if I use that list three, so second three, what happens if I use that? Does it change anything? Well, it turns out 
this x bar value is exactly the same. So whether you enter them all as percentages or all as decimals, as long as you're being consistent, you're fine. What you might notice is different are all of these numbers down here. So uh, when we ran this through the first time, a lot of these were really, really large numbers um, because we were using 20 instead of 0.2 or 15 instead of 0.15, but we don't really care about that. So just the first part is what we need for this. And you can also, of course, do this by hand with, uh, in this case, we only have five categories, but even with five categories, this is kind of a nice way to ensure we haven't made um, any errors in doing this by hand.